I'm Alex Garrett. Uh, You don't have to look further than this note that I just found from 2020, March 26th, 2020. From the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. Yes, they looked at this quote-unquote CARES Act, which gave Corona Relief Fund to all the states and D.C., District of Columbia. But when I tell you how much exactly, two years later, what we're seeing yesterday and what we're seeing with the raising of the Fed interest rate to 0.75%, GDP low, we are officially, or they don't want to say it, but it seems like we're officially in a recession. And I wonder why. I wonder why when it was calculated, each state at the start of the pandemic was given $1.25 billion. I wonder why, when we're giving Ukraine billions of dollars also. You think we're in a damn economic recession when we're giving money away to everybody like it's candy? When we're spending like it's candy? You think? that You know, the White House doesn't want you to think that. They want to say, well, look at the market. It's still up. I don't know how that's happening, by the way. When you have Jerome Powell, the Fed chair, who just continues to sort of stay along. And uh, I I don't know where they make these decisions to raise rates, but he did. And it's not so much the fact he raised it. It's the I don't know factor. I mean, look, you and I are not economists, so we we don't have to know the numbers. But how do you not know when we're going to get out of this? How do you not know when prices are actually going to be able to come down? How do you not know that Exxon and all these gas companies this quarter made $46 billion in profits? How do you not know how to control any of this? That's incompetence to me. And then, yes, the literal doling out of money is a big part of this. Those who are so happy to get their stimulus, and I I will say it was kind of interesting because seeing one grand in my bank account was, was like, new. Um, But at the end of the day, we're not seeing that stay. We're seeing it go back in. We're seeing it go back in through taxes. We're seeing it go back in through rising prices. Yeah, the gas prices also. I mean, we have an administration that had a president that was cheering $6 a gas, you know, gas in California, okay? By the way, how much did California get through uh, this Funds Act, ten billion dollars each, and they they couldn't help their residents, and in fact, actually, they did more taxes on their residents. I think it's it, this whole thing is a mess. But to not uh, define it as a recession, and again, I'm no economist, but I do know that the GDP report was not good. I do know that what we are seeing doled out is coming back in to the government and they just keep spending. And, you know, I was thinking about this today because in the conservative world, oh, Joe Manchin agrees with Biden, yada, yada, yada. Here's why these bills don't work, because they're putting a whole bunch of funding into things that maybe not the whole country agrees with. If it was straight infrastructure so that a van doesn't get swallowed up in the Bronx uh, by a, a sinkhole, basically then we'd be on board with infrastructure. But it's infrastructure, and then it's this, and then it's that, and it's the other, and it's... I mean, what did I just see recently? $180 billion spent to try and compete with China now in this tech space with the chips? $180 billion to try and stay ahead of China. We're paying out more. And yeah, I could applaud trying to stay ahead of China, but these numbers are getting ridiculous. And... Where's the um the CB the office of the budget uh, the budget office on this? Where are their numbers? I don't see anybody from the budget office on numbers. Um, by the way, at some point this weekend, I'll play the weekend radio we had because it was a pretty busy one. But before I finish my rant for now, uh, one final thought, and I saw today David Yasky, the former TLC commissioner, is uh is actually getting into a, a tiff with Councilman 
Justin Brannon, keeping it really local here, but he's running for a state senate in Staten Island. And look, here's a guy that is now trying to figure out Medicare and uh, and the health care system for his possible constituents if they vote for him. Why is that interesting? Because he's gone from the taxi world to trying to figure out health care for Staten Islanders. Very interesting. And uh, I have to see if um, former Commissioner Gasky would join. But I just thought those who listen on the local level would appreciate uh, that tidbit that, yes, David Yasky is running for a state Senate seat in Staten Island. And I don't even, you know, the forward party is happening. People are making a big deal about that. But to me, today, you have to know the numbers. And the numbers are what we doled out. What we were doled out. Pretty insane. I'm Alex Garrett. Stay tuned to Alex Garrett Podcasting all weekend. I guarantee you Juan Soto will not be a national after the weekend's done. And maybe Aaron Judge hits another homer this weekend, right? He's on fire still. So a lot to come in the days to come. I'm Alex Garrett.